can you make money selling on Amazon in Canada? I already explained that. Is, is it profitable? Can you make money? Yes, you can make money. I'll expand on this a little bit. Can you make money selling on Amazon in Canada? I'm in Canada. Okay. Just because you're in Canada doesn't mean there's walls. I mean, if it were Donald Trump, sure, he'd probably want to build a wall enclosing Canada, completely enclosing Canada. I don't know if he wants to build a wall completely enclosing the U.S., so bordering it from, like, the ocean if he had to. I don't know. I'm not here to knock Donald Trump. I'm not here to knock politics or anything like that. But just because you're in Canada doesn't mean you can't sell in the U.S. platform, that you can't sell in a Mexican platform. It doesn't mean that you can't sell across North America. You can. It's why it's so crazy for people to think that Amazon Canada is dead or selling on Amazon is a bad thing. Okay. Is it easy to start your Amazon US account if you're a Canadian seller? It is. It's just there are steps. There's like five or six steps in place that you got to do. They're not complicated, but they do require you to have some guidance. But if you got that, if you have that guidance, you'll you'll learn how to do it. Then just like your Canadian store, your American store will grow. Okay, there is a lot more competition in the U.S., but, you know, I did this statistic search today. How many sellers are on Amazon in Canada? The answer is there are 30,000 sellers on Amazon Canada. How many provinces, okay, let's ask Surrey. How many provinces are in Canada? Ten. There are 10 provinces in Canada. Okay, so 30,000 divided by 10 is 3,000. So for every province, there's like 3,000 sellers. That is nothing. There are more, th there are more than 3,000 Starbucks in British Columbia, probably. Okay, I joke, but, you know, and how well is Starbucks doing? They're making money head over heels because they're doing so well. They're just, they could literally be, kid I, in downtown, in the core of Vancouver, when I was growing up, there literally was a Starbucks right here. And then kitty corner from it, there was another Starbucks right there, okay, right next to it. And just always packed when Starbucks first came up. Like competition, like I said in my last video, is not necessarily about the competition, but it's about the revenue that's being generated. If there is money to be made, just, you know, grow, keep growing. What's going on, Darbo, Durbo Ranks? What's happening? Where are you from? Let me know in the comment section. Yeah, so, you know, can you make money selling in Canada? Yes, you can. If you just want to sell in the Canadian platform, uh, platform, which I do, I sell only my retail arbitrage products in Canada. Okay, I don't sell it in the U.S. platform. We sell enough to just be sustained off of that business alone. We sell enough products on a day-to-day -day basis. We could live off of that revenue alone. Okay, the fact of the matter is our bigger business is our private label business, not even our retail arbitrage business. I've said this to my students. I've said this to all of you guys who watch these videos. I love making these videos for the fact that you guys are interested in retail arbitrage because it helps you become sellers easily. A lot of people are scared to invest all that capital in their private label business, right? So, which is fine, you know, in Canada, if you have a retail arbitrage business, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have to follow my system. Now I put a guy, I'm gonna resort to the system, grass, grass guys. Grass was to help guy, every seller, turn a retail arbitrage business into a money-making Canadian venture. Now it applies anywhere, grass, grow your inventory. These are the fundamentals. Run your auto price or run, uh, advertise. Uh, Swim, source what inventory you, you're selling that's moving the most. Source what is moving and then scan everything, okay, to bring you back to growing your inventory. It's a continual uh, cycle, okay, grass. I came up with that, literally not, you know, this is a part of our my course. It's part of Ccash to teach you. And, and I, my guarantee is if you don't make money within your first Amazon launch, you send products to Amazon and you don't get a paycheck, that is you know, you're like, wow, I will refund you the hundred dollars is to join that course. Um, so join now, join Ccash now. 
yeah, it's crazy. So then our private label business, we have 12. At the end of the day, we've never lost money. Knock on wood. We've always managed to recuperate our money. And I've made bad buys too. Even some of my accessories, I've thought, holy shit, I can get this for 20 cents and sell it on Amazon for $9.99 and make five bucks. And so it's really exciting to hear all that profit and go get excited and go get me a thousand units. You know, I've made the mistake of buying a thousand units and spending 20 cents a unit, which turns out to be a $200 investment, nothing at all until that product rides at Amazon and you're paying fees. Okay. And we'll talk about that later, why you need mentorship, why you need to mentor with me. Um, but um, it just, the inventory didn't move as fast. I was only selling one or two a day to somebody that's $10 profit a day times that by 30 days, that's $300 profit per month. Or well, in this case it's $3 times that by 30 days, it's hundred dollars just off of that one product. Now I have two colors. I'm doubling my money there on two private label mini products that cost me 20 cents that accessorize my major product, not just my major product, but a lot of sellers out there. Okay. Tricks that I've picked up along the way. Okay. Uh, my primary product makes me $12. We just jacked that product by $5 profit today and we're still selling a shitload all because of some road bumps and blocks that I managed to run into today. So when, you know, here, here's a, here's a, here's a, here's what will answer. Can you make money at selling on Amazon in Canada? I ran into a hurdle, which most people would shut them down, was able not only to climb the hurdle, but to increase my profit by $5 while doing that and increasing my sales on that one product, which is our top selling product that we averaged anywhere from, well, I guess it wouldn't be an average if we're having high and lows, but anywhere from 300 units a month to 1,000 units a month at what was $11 profit is now uh, $3.50 more on that. So $14.50 profit on 1000 is $14,500 profit on that one product on a high month, not every month. Okay. Let's just say the average is 600 units per month for that one product. So. You know, that's 6,000 plus half, that's $9,000, just under $9,000 off of that one product, profit per month, not including getting all of my equity back, my cost of goods back on that product as well, because you're getting your cost of goods back as well as all that pure profit. Is it profitable accountable? Yeah. So that's my Canadian sales. That's not including sales on the dot com. 